Well, you guys have said something's better than nothing, so here goes, here goes nothing. Um, I just wanted to show you something I was able to do while not being able to do much else was get a shelf put up here to put my part of my collection of bow lights. Uh, there's a bunch of them out in the shop. There's each vehicle's got some or some out in the garage, but primarily I collect the orange ones. And I do buy them. I know that I'm affiliated with Olight, but uh, I also I, I I love their products, so I buy them. Um, these things right here are called O slings. They're pretty cool. You take any one of those O bulbs and you can put it in one of these O slings and have yourself a uh, doorknob hanger, night light, or what have you, because they've got really long run times. But anyway, um, this is sort of an intro to an unboxing. So, uh, but before I get started on that, I will give you guys a brief update on my health and my hands Thursday before last was when I had my appointment with the rheumatologist I gave blood I gave x-rays and after repeated phone calls I still have not heard back from the rheumatology center I'm beyond aggravated at the absolute lack of service that I'm getting and two days after I went to my appointment I was given a survey and I'm glad I waited to fill that survey out because it's not going to be a good survey uh, but this um, it, it, it's frustrating because I've not been able to get out to the shop that's how bad my hands are I haven't been able to get out to the shop and be productive I have gone on a two picks which you guys will see um, one part of the video I shot last Monday today is I think Tuesday no <clears throat> today's Wednesday the 17th uh, this is just how much I'm losing track of time um, so not just this past Monday but the Monday before that I shot an intro and that was as far as I got and that was the last time I was out in the shop so I'm gonna to try to get back out to the shop today and finish that video uh, it's just showing my picks what I wound up grabbing uh, there was a tractor pick which I explained and then a scrap haul that Dave and I went on and fortunately my thousand pound lift truck came in very very handy uh, it did nine tenths of the work and bless Dave's heart he knows my hands are killing me so he did a lot of the pulling and tugging and pushing and twisting and all that kind of fun stuff so anyway I'm sure you guys are tired of looking at the back wall oh yeah I did get a new uh, banner back there it was just all black and white but, um, but anyway and I think this is new since the last time you guys have seen the wall I'm a bare spot right over there because as you can see the uh, Zippo Ranch sign the light up sign is not there it's out in the shop now but anyway uh, let's get to the unboxing alright we're down on the billiard table uh, just so that I had a blank canvas here and we're going to use the uh, Olight O-Knife driver it's got kind of a cool serial number. I believe it's one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get in there. Now you can't see it. 
Anyway, show number one, two, three, four. Limited run. This is also a limited edition OLED flashlight. It's the Warrior X Turbo. And it's an extreme distance tactical light, which if you look here, it says 1100 max lumens. My daily carry is the Olight Baton 3, and it sports the, the same lumens. But where this one shines is actually the Candela. It's how those lumens are used in the optics to give this thing the ability to throw a beam 1,000 meters. And this is a lim very limited run. Typically, they'll do three, four, five, six, ten thousand in a uh, special edition. This one is limited to just one thousand, and mine is serial number twenty-six. That's a very early one. I only ordered it four days ago, and it made it here from mainland China. In just four days. Just incredible. So, getting the cellophane off for the first time. I'm real anxious to see it. So, as you guys can see, I, you know, like I said, I don't just push O lights with the, the flash sails. I, I'm a huge fan of them, and I have been for well over 10 years. So, let's see. Okay, there's the flap. Olight Warrior X Turbo. It's going to be the first time we're going to see this. And we're going to see it together. Open. Ah, it's got a holster. I'm glad to see that. And it is a magnetic holster. I like the magnetic holsters. This is a similar holster to the... Uh, I'll get it. The frayer. Alright, we got the flashlight. Let's see what we have here. What's it showing? Did you it's interesting. Okay. Looks like we've got a lanyard. I'm not sure what that little guy is right there. Maybe for the tail, so it'll tail stand. That would be my guess. To enable this to tail stand. No? I don't know. I'll have to read and figure out what that's all about. Oh, my hands are just not working. Sorry, guys. That's interesting. That might be... No, I'm not sure, but check that out. Check that coloring out. That thing is just, I don't know if the light's doing it any justice. And I have the tactical switch that goes on the end here, and it's a pad that you uh, can use to turn the light on and off. It may just, may just be be a tail stand let's see it's a little unsteady so I mean it tail stands a lot better that way we'll look and see what that's all about because I'm curious uh, the rest of the stuff in the box is just lanyard and the charge cable I believe that's all that's in there let's see what that little guy is and then we'll get to uh, woo. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, you can take the tail cap off, remove this, which is designed for you to be able to grab here, and then hit the button. Looks like tail switch operation only. I don't see any other button. Your spot for your lanyard right there. 
before first use, please remove protective film on the lens. There's that satisfying protective film removal for you guys. Everybody loves that. If you can see how deep that is set in there, that is set in there that deep so that it turns this light into a dedicated drawer. And give me just a second. I have to take the tail cap off and remove um, the uh, protective insulating film so that the flashlight will illuminate. So give me just a second. All right, got that taken care of. And I went ahead and I pulled off the, uh, <coughs> I think they're calling it tactical ring grip, TRG, TGR. <coughs> Excuse me, tactical grip ring. Uh, pop the ta tactical grip ring off and the pocket clip off. And then installed the silicone. It's just a different tactile feel is all it is. Uh, right now it will not go into turbo because the battery is below 20% and I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera if you're going to be able to hear it. So let me see if I can't put something on here to make it vibrate a little louder. No. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's vibrating. So, but anyway, it is a two mode, high and low, and high is uh, turbo. Turbo will run for six and a half minutes, and then it will go down to 55% of full power for 105 minutes, and then 27% for 27 minutes, and then 14% for 52 minutes. On low, it will run continuously for 12 and a half hours. Uh, this isn't a review of the light. Uh, it's just an unboxing of it. Um, and it is something that is on the website right now. And if you join a group, um, you can save some money on it. So if you wanted to go check it out, boy, it's just really, really cool. I love the crenellated bezel. Um, this is meant to be a tactical light, obviously. Uh, with the capability of being mounted to a firearm, a rifle. And let's verify the serial number there. See if we can get that to focus. Serial number 26, Warrior X Turbo. So, just a quick little look at it. And then, you know, a quick little update on what's going on with these things right here. Um, they're, they're just not working. And I, it's disrupting a lot of lives and I'm sorry that it's disrupting lives <coughs> excuse me but um, life will go on we will get some sort of resolution to this uh, I'm make another phone call today to the rheumatology center and try to get somebody on the phone again my patient's levels are depleted um, I've not yet gotten angry, <laughs> but I'm dangerously close to it. Um, I, you know, you go someplace to get answers. You don't go someplace to have them take your money and to get ignored. So at any rate, if this is your friend, the neighborhood Zippo, thank you guys for hanging in there and waiting on me, uh, especially Sean with his tractors. I, as God is my witness, Sean, I know how frustrating it is because it's doubly frustrating for me that I am not out there getting that job finished for you. Um, I promise you, just the instant I am able, I will get on that. Uh, but, you know, when pain brings me to tears after just an hour or two of shop time, I, I know that there's something wrong beyond my control. So hang in there. And all my supporters, everyone that's been emailing me and telling me it's okay, uh, thank you. Uh, it, it, it's okay to an extent, uh, but I should have had answers by now. So we'll stay tuned for the next update on that. And like I said, hopefully I'll get out to the shop today and we will... 
show you what my picks yielded uh, from the scrap haul <clears throat> at the same place that uh, Ron, uh, Biggie Rat, and I went to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, to pick up the three tractors and mowing decks for him. So uh, I promise you guys, I'll see you when I see you. Later. I'm out of here.